All right, folks, so I got a 98 Dodge Durango. Went ahead and replaced the upper control arm. And uh, this is the reason why. I mean, it, the bushing was not even there. And, I mean, it's just scaly and just mm, looks really sketchy. So I replaced it. And uh, the ball joint, I mean, all the, I put a new ball joint in it last year. And I can already move it. So it's already got slop. And I was kind of worried that the uh, control arm was, you know, kind of doing this kind of thing with that bushing not even being there. But uh, it did not ruin the actual A arm. So that's good. So I was actually originally going to buy just the shaft and the bushings and just rebushing and put a new shaft and everything in this. But I decided to just go ahead and uh, replace the whole entire control arm. And uh, this is the driver's side right here. There's the underneath of it. And uh, they are different from each other. But I mean, it's got everything in it. It's got all new bushings, the shaft, and everything. The ball joints are actually greasable, surprisingly. Because the picture was misleading. The picture, it shows a uh, ball joint that's not greasable, but it actually comes shipped with a ball joint that is greasable. So that's awesome. That works good. Because you got to be able to grease this stuff. I mean, let's make it last. But, uh, so I was just going by and uh, do all that and replace all that. And I'm still going to do that. I'm going to keep these A arms. Thank goodness it didn't ruin it. And, uh, it looks pretty good underneath there. This part right here doesn't matter. It's the actual bushing. This presses out. But the control arm itself looks okay. And it's actually made on the back like that. So it doesn't press through this side. It only presses through this. So yeah, that thing is definitely weak. I can't believe that. And I drove all the way down to uh, see good old after five auto to North Carolina like that. And uh, how in the world it made down there and back, I'll never know. But uh Trying to correct all these issues on this thing. Got to get it ready for the old dreaded state inspection coming up soon. I just nah, can't stand state inspection. It's a real pain. I don't agree with it. I kind of think it's honestly unconstitutional. But I uh, figured I had to get on and uh, got to get all this stuff done. Had a heck of a time getting these upper bolts up here unbolted. I was able to get them. So... I'm going to go in there and clean all that mud and finish cleaning all that stuff out of there. And uh, it's actually got drain holes down here. It's got a drain hole right here. And then it's got one right here underneath this bolt, right in behind it. So you could take you something real thin and uh, a coat hanger might work and just kind of clean all that out. And uh, I got it as best as I could while this control arm is off. And uh, you want to clean all that out real good and get all that mud and dirt and, you know, 24 years of, you know, just wear and tear out of there. And uh, when you do that, I'm going to take a little paint and I'm going to spray down in here to keep this from uh, you know, getting any worse. And uh, this is uh, very critical here. This is, you don't want this mount to be messed up in any way shape and form because if it is it's not good because you know that's structural and that is part of the frame here so you gotta thoroughly thoroughly inspect it once you get all this unbolted it and make sure it's nothing weak and uh i got lucky i mean mine was really really solid and i mean it's a little scaly but it's not thin or anywhere and i uh, look i still got a bunch of mud i gotta get out of there yet but just clean all that out and then when you uh, do your alignment here well I say your alignment but the way I'm gonna do it is we got witness marks down in here it's kind of hard to see but all this dirt I gotta finish clean that out but you can kind of see the little ring where the bolt was sitting right in here so we'll just you know pull it back and set it as close as we can get it and we'll do the same thing for this side and uh, I mean, I guess you could take and measure from the end of this A arm right here between here at this point and to maybe right there on your original and get it close 
But since our bushing was wore out, I don't think it'd be real accurate. So that's what we got. So I figured to get this done. I gotta do the driver's side too. And uh hopefully they'll last a little while. And uh definitely a little pain, but it'll be worth it. But I can't believe that ball joint is already I mean on its way out. I mean you shouldn't be able to shouldn't be able to move it like it easy like that. I can't really move that one. That's just a cover. It comes right off. I can get it off here. Oh, this is a little different. Yeah, I gotta take this off. Look at me. Take your ball joint nut off there. Take it off. Come on. There we go. That's just a little cover. That just protects your threads. But, yeah, you shouldn't be able to. I mean, that one's, yeah, that's good and tight. I mean, I can move it, but it's it's firm. That's what I like, so. But this one, yeah, it's, look at that. I mean, I just, two finger rule. Let's see, we can hold it still here. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That's like two fingers. Yeah, that's, ain't even been in there. But about 13 months, and uh, you know, just a little over a year, and it's already just getting slopping it. So, uh, quality nowadays is definitely questionable, I will say that. So, but I am, uh, I'm gonna rebushing these, I'm gonna get new shafts for the originals, and I'm gonna keep them on hand, and I'll put new ball joints in them. And then, you know, six months down the road, when all this fails again, our ball joint, hopefully, our bushings will last. And we'll just throw our original A-arms back on. So, I always like the original stuff if it's nothing wrong with it. You know, a lot of times the originals are a lot thicker and better than, you know, all the aftermarket stuff, my personal opinion. So, try and use as much as the original as we can. Obviously, we can't that shaft and bushings and all that's junk. But it did not ruin the actual control arm, so that's awesome. But, it's been about... Yeah, a good hour, hour and a half, and uh, just got to take your time. It's a 21 millimeter to get these two bolts out here. I would just get these out first with before I even worry about the ball joint and separating anything. Leave that all together, and uh, that way you can take a 21 and get these apart. The reason for it is once you get this loosened up enough, this will start you know kind of sliding a little bit and if you got that apart down here you know it kind of makes it a little more difficult but if just keep that all together do this last is it kind of you know kind of con controls that a little bit so that way when you get these bolts out you know you got a little more control over it but they were tight i mean they were tight i mean i had to break out the breaker bar here and i had to use the handle off of floor jack and uh had to use the other handle too and uh, i mean i had a time i thought i was going to end up breaking them bolts but i didn't so that's good i am going to go back and replace these bolts here too and uh i'm gonna replace all that it's nothing wrong with them it's nothing wrong with them at all it's just i want to replace them because you know all the hardware like that is you know you don't want to play with anything structural like that you know just don't want to go down the road, you know, you will just like that and then into accident. You know, you don't, you don't play around with the suspension or your brakes. You know, you gotta, it's gotta be right. So we're going to do it right. But, uh, thank goodness I got them apart. So that was lucky. So that's where we're at. And I'm going to wrap this on up here. We'll set our alignment here and I'll get it close and. We'll uh, do our driver's side, and hopefully it'll come on board decent. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, I still got to replace these axles here. They got to be replaced. I can just tell them things are shot. So, oh, that's got to be replaced yet. So, And we're going to delete all the ABS junk on the front of this vehicle here. So, And all I mean by that is we're going to pull these hubs off. I actually replaced these hubs. 
and I did it about two years ago, but we're going to replace them again. It's nothing wrong with the wheel bearings or anything. It's just I want to replace them again and uh, buy ones that doesn't have any of the ABS provisions for the sensor. That way we can truly delete it there. It's not that expensive, and uh, this is the route I want to go. That way we can completely get rid of that because I'm trying to work on getting rid of all the ABS junk on this thing. And, uh, you know, you really don't need ABS. I'm going to figure out what's what with that ABS module. And I'm sure it's something you can jump over to something else. Because if you unplug it, you lose your speedometer. And uh, I think you lose your tack, maybe. I think it's just your speedometer. So, you know, you can't tell how fast you're going. And it's got to be something you jump over to, to something to bypass it. So... It's got to be something. I know it is. I have to look at a wire diagram, but we're going to get rid of all this junk right in here and clean that up. And I'm going to figure out what wires I can jump over to what. I did not do this. I bought it like this. And, you know, we're going to clean this up. But the ABS module is shot. It's junk. I'm not spending the money on another one because, you know, this is a 98. It's a beater. It's not worth it. So... We're going to just get rid of all that junk and plumb all the brake lines back old school. When I mean by old school, it's just traditional. And, uh, you know, just get rid of all that junk. It's less lines to worry about, in my opinion. So, you ain't got to worry about all them lines failing. You know, you ain't got, look at here, we got one, two, three, four, five. You know, that's good grief. I had to get rid of three of them, I would think. Let's see, one, two, three four five yeah six seven eight nine ten. good day yeah that should get rid of like half of them because technically you only need one to your driver's side wheel that's one then you need a line going from there to your passenger side that's two lines and then your front to rear brake line that's three and then you got four and then five so yeah that should get rid of most of all that junk so be awesome but uh we're definitely you know you got to keep your uh disc to drum uh you got to keep your you got to keep that uh valve there proportion of valve but uh definitely keeping that you know you got to retain that but uh you can see this booster it's it's got to go i mean it's all starting to rot out scale underneath there and uh you know it's just this thing is just falling apart i mean it's junk really but we're trying to do everything we can to keep it on the road because, you know, I just shade tree guy here and I'm poor and I'm broke and I just don't, I don't have the money and I don't want a car payment and, you know, I'd rather fix this. So, you know, like I said, I'm broke. I have no money. So, get rid of all this mess under here and I have to replace our booster and Gotta go through 50 million vacuum lines and clean that mess up and try get a little more straightened up. So that's where we're at. So I'm gonna do this side too yet. And hopefully it'll come apart easy. And that'll be it. So I gotta replace these lines too. They're just the it's the whole thing needs to be gone through. I mean that's why when it was down. After that accident, I really wanted to go through it. And it's like these headlights, I wanted to replace those because, you know, you can't even hardly see out of them. And it's not worth, in my personal opinion, it's not worth spending the time trying to restore them and all that because it just doesn't last. I mean, it'll last a little while, but it just, it's not worth it. I'll just put all new headlights in it the way you can actually see. But, uh... Yeah, it seems like I've had, I've tried it before. I've tried re that he like restoring thing, but it doesn't really last. I mean, it'll last a couple months and then it fogs right back up just the way it was. And I just, you know, you just put a whole nother headlight in it. But uh, that's just me though. But all right, so I'm gonna quit blabbing. We're gonna get this thing wrapped up. We'll set our alignment there and. Sit this side on the ground, do the driver's side, and we'll be good to go. 
Got to love all these brake lines on it. I got these bubble flares. That's a bubble flare right there. So, I'm going to replace all these hoses too. That's one thing I did not do, and they need to be replaced. So, that's where we're at. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps a little bit.